Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at MySQL for Visual Studio 2019. We will look at how we can download the MySQL installer and install all the necessary components. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get to it then. MySQL is a relational database management system, RDBMS, based on a structured query language, which runs virtually on all platforms, including Linux, Unix, Windows, etc. And it's also an open source software. So my SQL is, a, is based on a, server, on a client server model and its core is the MySQL server, which handles all the database instructions or commands. MySQL is also available for separate programs in a client server networked environment and can also be embedded or linked into a separate application. So, in this video, we will also look at MySQL Workbench. So MySQL Workbench is just a unified visual tool for database architects, developers, and DBAs. MySQL Workbench provides data modeling, SQL development, and comprehensive administration tools for server configurations, and so on. So to get started, obviously, we have to open a, a browser. I've got this one here, Google, and we have to type in MySQL installer. So once we actually do that, then the first result, as we can see here, download MySQL installer. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So once we click on that, just wait for it to load. So it will, we'll be actually taken to this page, MySQL community download. So what we do is actually click on the first bit, the Windows X, I mean X86 or 32 bit. So you select which one is actually applicable to what system you're using, right? So we just click on this bit here, download. And here you can, you can say no thanks. And this will actually start the download process, right? So I'm not going to, I'm just going to cancel it because I've already got it. So what I'm going to do is just going to pull it up. So once you actually download it, download it, you have to, then you click on run so that's what i'm going to do so just in a set okay i'm just going to do it from here anyway so obviously you'll be prompted by windows to actually to allow the, the installation to go through so once that happens here yeah, this is what you get the installer 1.4 and here this is the the window that you actually get once you open the, the mysql installer so we're going to select the developer default yeah this actually installs all products needed for my sql development purposes right so we click on the next so here as you can see the selected path already exists so i mean it means yeah, i've actually installed it previously so i'm just gonna leave it right there and click next to see what actually happens yeah you still have one with the selected but are you sure you want to continue yes so here this is all the the stuff that is that is needed to to download so as you can see here if we look We've got MySQL for Visual Studio selected as well. So you select whatever is applicable to you, right? So what, what I'm going to do, you just click on execute. So this will actually start the download. So as you can see, yeah, we've got all the necessary downloads going on. So I'm just I'm just going to pause the video while the whole thing completes here. Yeah? So you can click on here just to show more details. 
Okay, so we've got all the all the components that I've actually selected downloaded. So what I'm going to do is just going to close the Visual Studio. So now, what we do is we click on the nest. So here, here we can we're going to store whatever products that we actually um, whatever product that is ready to install so we click on execute so we just wait for all the nests all the selected products to install so i'm just going to post it while the whole installation completes okay so we've got um, this um, the installation completed so we click on the nest yeah so here we can click on the finish right so we get this shell so as you can see here now we've got the workbench open now so the workbench like i said is the official graphical user interface tool for my sql it allows you to design create and browse your database schemas right so as you can see here now you can add connections see i've already got one here so it's, it's actually saying no connection established so i'm just gonna um, close this bit here close this one so what we're gonna do is just open the mysql installer again so mysql installer community we open this s1 so on the mysql server side here yeah, we click reconfigure so here we leave the configure type as a development computer and we leave the port and the whole all the information pretty much the same then we click on the nest yeah here we're just gonna leave it nest so we just here I've, I've already created a password but if you don't have a password obviously you'll be prompted to create a new pass password and confirm it so i'm just gonna put the password that i created with yeah so i'm just gonna check So as you can see, yeah, it's, it's okay. So I'm just gonna go next. So here, you can create a custom user, or uh, just a standard system account. Yeah. So which is actually recommended in most most case scenarios, right? So it is a service name. So start the MySQL server at system startup. So you can do that, but I'm not gonna look too much into that. So we're just gonna wait for the whole thing to, we're just gonna click on this bit to execute. So now we've got the server started now. So we click on finish. So now we can come here and open the, the MySQL workbench. So we just type workbench. So we open the workbench. So now we can click on this and then you enter your server password and as you can see here now we've got the service open now so what we do next is go inside the visual studio so once we click um, continue with our code so we open the server explorer and add new connection so as you can see what the, the, the first time after the installation you get this mysql for visual studio configuration update so this is actually a change in the installation of connector.net has been identified do you want to execute the configuration update so you click on the next yeah so you accept so as you can see and now you can you, you can actually you can see that the uh, the changes is being taken effect so we just wait for a while i'm just gonna 
pause it while it, the whole thing completes. So now, as you can see, you're going to have to restart the Visual Studio for the changes to take effect. So I'm just going to close it and restart it. So reopen it. So now I'm just going to continue with our code. So I'll come inside the Server Explorer again and add new connection. So here now, once if we go here, as you can see, we can now see the MySQL database. So we can select it from the data source. So, so this use, use this selection to connect to MySQL server using the .NET Framework data provider for MySQL. Yeah. So we click on OK. So we, we enter our server name, which in this case is localhost. And the username, which is the root. So there's one more thing that we need to do here explicitly is to go inside this part here and actually set our, our port number, our port number, which is 3306, if I may recall. So we're just going to open the workbench to check that one. Yeah, so it's 3306. So we click OK. So you enter your password. And here you can enter the database if you've created one, or in this case, I don't. So I'm just going to TH300 just for anything. So we just test the connection. So it's not connected. So we click on the OK. So the database C300 does not exist or you do not have the permission to see it. So we just click yes to create it. Click OK. So as you can see, yeah, we've got the database created now. We can op expand it. So as you can see, we don't have any tables or stored procedures or stored functions inside them. But this is at least how you can actually get started. So I'll leave um the video here for now but on the next video on this topic yeah we'll look at actually building a database project inside the visual studio for my sql right so once again if you haven't subscribed to the channel please make sure you do because i've got lots of videos coming up and i hope you have a lovely morning evening afternoon wherever you are peace